What has been your greatest challenge on this project? Finding the motivation to continue when I just want to give up. I did get over that and I am, it was mainly with the action plan, to be honest, but I, I'm currently working on it, so. You're over it. Yeah. And you? <laughs> for me, it was staying uh, solitary for an hour and a half, just typing. I had to just type every single day getting into this class, so I just sat down and did nothing except type. It was the most annoying thing in the world, but eventually we just got a plan set where I could go down to the amphitheater and post on our Instagram, so I was able to at least get out of the class that way, which was amazing. Um, my oh. favorite part of this project was, as Shay said, working on the boat, finishing it, painting it, all of the fun times that we had. Because in the teacher's lounge, we were listening to music and working the entire time. We talked. It was great. It was a great experience. The boat was my favorite part. Since you had done the logo for our project, mm -hmm. you ha have you done any previous work? Have you changed your logos to make it perfect for our project? The logo has stayed the same because we have all agreed that it was a very it was a key and it was an integral part of our project. It was fitting. We had the hot air balloon with the AGMA tube and the measurements. Like everything seemed perfect about it. As far as posters and pamphlets go, I've tried to make them much more professional and infographic esque. Okay, so for our book to be published, I've contacted uh, Andrew Campbell with the Glendale News Press to see if he would like to join us and go on the boat trip with us as he has accompanied us on other trips and gotten articles done about them. So, Shalia, you came up with the name for our boat. Can you tell us a little bit about the significance of that? Yes, so our boat is named the Perry, and it actually has two meanings behind the name. The first being that the first person to launch an expedition from the United States to Japan, which is where our boat is actually going to go, was named Matthew Perry. And he led a diplomatic re relation to Japan, which was great because we, we're not going on a diplomatic relation per se, but we are saying as, you know, this is what we're doing, please help us in our project. And the second meaning, which is one of my personal favorites, was because the lead singer of the band named of the band Journey was named Steve Perry, and the boat was is going on a journey, and it was a journey making it. Because he wanted to go, but without it, we wouldn't have been able to. Without him, we would have been able to do it. We would not have been able to attach the keel. He helped us so much. For him, yeah. we are eternally grateful. We are eternally grateful to to Mike, Mr. Hayden. If you ever watched this, thank you so much, teacher. We're eternally uh, grateful. I don't think to 